ABC 27 in the community for a better community. Not just a slogan, but what we deliver every day. I'm Dennis Owens of ABC 27 News. When I come to Penn State Children's Hospital, it's usually to cover a story of hope. Hope for a brighter future for an injured child. Hope for a better beginning for a child born too soon. Hope for a quick cure to a devastating disease or hope for a lesson from which others can learn. These stories of hope touch our community and bring it together. By forging a partnership with the Children's Miracle Network, ABC 27 hopes to help build a better community for our brightest hope, our children. Since signing on the air July 6, 1953, ABC 27 has dedicated itself to serving the community in central Pennsylvania. Just six months after our first broadcast, the station hosted the first live telethon in the area, raising more than $50,000 for United Cerebral Palsy. Our commitment to the community remains just as strong more than 50 years later. ABC 27 has joined together with many community partners to present programs such as Neighbors Helping Neighbors, I'm Kevin Henry. We've teamed up with the United Way for a program called Neighbors Helping Neighbors. Whether it's a big job or a small favor, it'll help match up people who need with people who can help. For more information or to volunteer, call the United Way at 732-0700, extension 34, or visit abc27.com. Because when you help others, it not only changes you, it changes the world. The Essence of Humanity Award. Courage. Love. Strength. Determination. Encouragement. Inspiration persistence, adversity. More than words, these are qualities to describe the winners of the Essence of Humanity Award. I'm Alicia Richards, ABC 27 News. Congratulations to Jane Tucker, co-founder of Access York. Thanks to Jane, abused women in York County have a safe place to seek shelter. Presented by ABC 27, in the community for a better community. Courage to compete. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. The words of the Special Olympic Athletes Oath, the foundation of a worldwide movement dedicated to improving the lives of people with intellectual and physical challenges. Join us tonight as we explore the impact Special Olympics has in our area. PNC Grow Up Great. Classes offered by the Harrisburg Art Association. Get kids to develop an eye for art. It develops problem solving skills. It builds their self esteem and they feel really good about what they do. They end up with a product, and it teaches them self-discipline. And Val's kids. Rosie wants to be a heart surgeon, Maddie, a graphic designer, or a pilot in the Air Force. The teens would also like to live in or around a city. A uh, culturally diverse area, they're Hispanic. It's very important, their culture is very important to them. My wish is that they will be adopted um, by a loving, caring family and that they will grow to their potential because they have wonderful potential. And as a fundraising partner, ABC 27 has helped raise millions of dollars for cancer research through the Jake Gitlin Memorial Golf Tournament, academic scholarships for the Big 33, and hundreds of local nonprofit organizations. ABC 27 has seen the generous outpouring of community support for Penn State Children's Hospital. We featured the efforts of many of these individuals and businesses on ABC 27 News. From fundraisers. Actually, that's, we are going to be up there until Sunday night at 8 o'clock. We're not coming down regardless of the wind or any other weather conditions. Our Children's Miracle Network is very involved in um, getting new equipment for our Children's Hospital, uh, supplying wonderful things for parents that, that we otherwise could not do. Uh, we do a parent lunch every month. We do coffee breaks for parents. Uh, we do a lot of research things with our CMN money. To special visits to the hospital. A lot of boys and girls have been very, very excited to see him today and have shown that by giving him hugs and you can see it in their eyes, they're just full of awe. Hospital can be a frightening place, especially for kids. But today at Hershey Meds Children's Hospital, kids got treatment with a twist. And then you take one end and hold it a little higher than the other. And this is the tree and this is the rabbit that's going to go behind the tree. Now watch him. There he goes. The meals, that means so much. I think it just brings that little extra cheer to the kids. They're here in the hospital. It's not a fun thing, and uh, I'm sure they're looking outside the window and seeing how nice it is outside, wishing they could be there. So we thought it was important to bring a picnic lunch in to them today. It's very nice. We were able to bring the rest of the family in and all be together. 
good family day for us. I really miss out on being home and, and being there with them, so I think this was really good. And ABC 27 had the opportunity to bring a smile to a few faces, at least for a little while. With help from Mickey and the gang, ABC 27 brought smiles by giving away toys and candy, a small token that goes a long way to cheer up children like eight-year-old Dakota, who has leukemia. They're really kid-oriented. Mm -hmm. Of course. And they said, they're, if there's a problem, they'll find some way to solve it for you. <laughs> and that's the goal, to make the hospital feel like a home, by treating the child and at the same time caring for the family. Plus, our award-winning photojournalists have captured many memorable moments, like this one. Tough to see any of the babies go home. Aww. We all wait. Cameras, tripods, reporters, photographers, and people looking on, wondering what they're waiting for. I, I apologize for the hold up, and I know it's time. You'd think a celebrity were about to walk through the entrance of the Children's Hospital at Penn State Hershey Medical Center. Okay, they're on their way out. The Gosselins are like celebrities now. Sex tuplets can do that to you. So what took so long inside? Dressing, last minute hugs, last minute instructions. Or she said goodbye to Hannah Joy and Leah Hope. Doctors say after six weeks of recovery, they're doing well enough to go home. They're eating well, they're breathing regularly, and they've been outside of their incubators for a couple of weeks. The Gosselins also have three-year-old twins. Though a little cranky today, the girls promised mommy they'll help. Encouraging them to help, I've already informed them there's going to be a lot of loud crying. You want to say anything, man? I think they're going to be okay. ABC 27 would like to continue the message, the very good message of the Children's Miracle Network and Penn State Children's Hospital. We hope to help the hospital continue to provide the finest care, research, and community outreach in central Pennsylvania through year-round news coverage, public service announcements, and the continued involvement of our station's management and its anchors. We hope to work together to reach new donors and business partners, but mostly, we hope we can bring new hope to those most helped by the Children's Miracle Network our children.